What's up, superstars? Yeah, reckon we're going to call these videos Subaru Mod Installs? <laughs> I have a clue. We'll have to figure something out. Whatever I've titled the video will probably be what I call them. And I'll probably put like at the end of the title what, what I'm doing to it. So today, yeah, what I'm going to do is chuck in the like hardwire in the powerful dash cam. So that'll be pretty similar in most cars. Let's see if I can figure out the you know the right views and stuff. Let's hope I don't um, yeah break anything. What's that? What's kicking up there? Oh, I think one of the fire. Great. Yeah, one of the fire alarms I think is running out. Yeah, straight back out, you guys. Yeah, that was um I think the actual fire alarm going off in my office. So I just had to rip that thing off the roof. <laughs> Well, no, there's no smoke in there, so I don't know what's kicking off with that, and it's a new one as well, so we'll have to figure that out. But yeah, so hardwire in the hardwire in the cable for the dash cam, and then whilst I take apart the trim, I'm probably going to stick in the mic because I want to put an aftermarket radio inside of it, so well, you know, CD, CD player, whatever you want to call it, yeah, aftermarket head unit. I want to shove that in, stick the mic up at the top, sort of in the top headlinery bit. But what we're going to do now is we're going to just hit the gym. Put in the work, got that pump on, gonna get some munch on now, and yeah, just figure it out, superstars. And yeah, just enjoy. Get that steak up, man, they're messing about. Let's leave the mince behind. Let's hit that up. You know how we do. Just after gym, put in that work. We got the av avocados. Yeah, yeah, gonna have two of those. And we're just gonna get swole. We're just going to get totally swell. Let's get on one shot and then I can work on the car. I can't work on it when I'm hungry because I'll just be, yeah, a nightmare. And stuff will just start getting broken. Yeah, superstars, there we go. It's all cooked up. The white stuff on the top, that's just because I'm a fat mess. And I've got to put butter on top of it. You know how we roll. But yeah, it's munching us off the gym. Let's go going, go do the stuff on the car. Then we should be all good, I reckon. Because honestly, I can't be, can't be working on the car without any munching me. Okay, superstars, so this is what we're doing it on. A 2009 hatch. WRX UK version, you know how we roll. Okay, so we're gonna want to pop this puppy off here. So that's just gonna pop out there with a trim tool, and then it's on the fuse box is here on the driver's side. Just give that a little tug. And there we go. There's your fuses. It has a little. I don't really want to pull that off, but it has a little guide here. But generally yeah for you know radios and dash cams and stuff like that it's normally 20 20 amp fuse but 20 or 10 i mean i know when i did a, you know a stereo system last time it it was in the 10 amp fuse so that's where i probably put it in now but i think with regards to you know charges and stuff 20 should be fine you'll know if it's wrong anyway because it'll blow them and then you'll have to put them in a, you know put a higher amp fuse so yeah, superstars. I mean, also something to think of. Um, I'm probably not going to show you that this today. Oh no, you will actually see it. You'll see it as part of the install. Basically, the it's like a little adapter that will go into one of those fuses. And okay, superstars. Yep, 2009 Subaru Hatch WRX UK version. Let's unplug this. Well, oh, unplug it. Sorry, let's unlock it. I'll show you what's kicking off. Yeah, we ran out of battery, so we're trying this again. Okay, so what are we gonna do? So I wanna run. Yeah, direct power to my, what is it called, uh, dash cam. So I'll show you how we're gonna do this beast. Okay, there's your little fuse box. Yeah, so it's driver's side. There's a little diagram here to tell you what's what. Let's see if I can get you focus in there. Nah, I can't really see it much. I don't wanna shove the camera all me. But yeah, normally you're gonna try and find some head units and stuff go off of 10 amp or 20. I think, like cigarette lighters and that normally, normally sort of 20 amp fuses. But the way I go with it with the device is I'd rather blow a fuse that's too low and then you know, put a bigger fuse in, then cook the device or something like that. But yeah, that's just me. Okay, let me let me set up and stuff and yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, gangsters, I don't know how we're going to quite do this. You just have to bear with me with the way I'm going to put the camera and stuff. But I just want to try and get it so you can see how I take off like the A-pillars and stuff like that. I'll go handheld for a little bit, stuff that I can do 
you know, single-handedly. But then when I'm going to start taking the bits apart, I'm probably going to shove it on this tripod. I've already set up a bit. But yeah, we'll see how that works out. And we obviously got the trusty Haynes manual. It's not, with regards to interior stuff, it's not like really that useful. There's not tons in there. Here's my, here's what we're gonna be installing. Okay, yeah, this this random bit of wire. I thought two birds, one stone and all that. It's a mic for the head unit that I wanna put in. Look, depending on time, I might shove the head unit, head unit in today. But I don't think I will just for the sake of saving time where I'm going to put it is I'm going to put it up here so you can hear oh, if you can see yes yeah, so I'm going to put it up here in the corner somewhere the mic so you know when I'm making calls you can hear it properly I want to also probably run the cables along here and then down and then probably put the dash cam I don't think it's going to stick to this right because it's sort of like perforated it's got a weird feel to it and I've got a suction cup one so I don't think it's going to stick to that so I might have to stick it to the side or just below the mirror but yeah hopefully we get the power to run from yeah down here so from in here try and fish it around to here and then we go all the way up and then yeah we'll figure that yeah we'll figure out if it yeah if it does go that easily but we'll 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 see proof is in the pudding and all that what have we got in the box anyway it's it's just a it's just an amazon job to be fair i'm not going to be sticking anything together if it needs to if we need to if anything needs to be connected i'm probably going to want to solder it so i might have to bring the soldering iron out here but i don't think it does need any soldering i think it's all pretty much built i've got a pack of fuses in the back of the back of the car so if i need to add any i can do but yeah let's get to it oh yeah nearly forgot i've got some trim removal stuff same thing just just amazon job because screwdrivers and plastic don't work that well together plastic and plastic's a little bit a little bit softer on itself this kit was oh gosh i forget 20-ish 20-ish pound I thought the tools were actually smaller, to be honest. Yeah, this is the problem when you do things one handed, it's stupid. Yeah, so I thought the tools would be smaller, but they were massive. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, we'll use these to pry all the bits apart. The thing with the thing with these um the thing with these Subarus is most of the stuff does just literally pop off. Most of it does. I know there's a, this like sort of centre bit here. You want to be careful because there's a screw in some of it. But most of these bits, yeah, yeah, just pop it in, pry the piece of plastic off, and it should just come off. But it's always easy to say that now. We'll we'll, we'll see if it, it is easy when we come to it. And this is the thing with these cars; like they uh, can people can say it looks slightly dated, but yeah, you're gonna stick a new hand unit in it and stuff like that. You need to do some things to the car to bring it sort of up to date. But yeah, these cars are awesome. I absolutely love them. So look, there's nothing else here. I'm just gonna give it a yank because I'm trying to. You can't really get this tool in here, but you can feel there's like a little gap down here. Maybe if I just yank, it's like a gap. If I just yank this hard enough, put the power grace got in. Come on, you. It didn't sound. Yeah, there we go. That's good. There we go. All good. Cool. You can see the fuse box in there. Cable's gonna run up there, up here. Oh yeah. They look nice and neat. Okay. The thing is, though, thinking about it, getting the mic. I can't open the car door because the other car's next to it. Yeah, so I need to get the mic sort of through here. And I've got to somehow fish it all the way to behind here. That's going to be a slight problem. This stuff all pops off, but for now. I think I might just run the mic in there and just leave the rest here until I know I'm happy that I'm going to put the head unit in. I don't know if I want to start fishing around the back there yet. Do you know what's that next level bullshit as well while I'm doing this? The sun's come out and my homie's over there on his motorbike. Damn, I can hear him started it up. You know. Don't know if you can hear it in the background. But we'll be rapping when the sun comes out up in here. Okay, so superstars, we may as well get into it. Shall we pop this? Hey, put off. I want to try and give you guys a good view here. 
I've seen people sticking their, sticking their fingers in these things and pulling these things off in other cars, but I don't know if it can do it on this. I think I'm going to use the tool. Superstars, there's only one problem though. The lighting is terrible. Okay, let's read you and get one of these puppy dogs. Okay. Come here, so I want to sit it. Oh, come on, man. Oh, that's better? Yes. Why should we break something? This is the thing, when you do stuff in your own car, there's always a risk of you breaking, breaking shit. Doesn't feel very poppy offy. Maybe this has got to come off. Oh, oh you know, there's something here, I bet you. I bet you there's something in this puppy dog right here. Give me a sec, let's see. What else have we got here? Um, Technically, this is actually going to be a really pretty quick drop if you had skills. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm looking through the camera like an idiot when I, mean, I could just look here. Like it wants to pop off. Are you for real? Like, do you want to come off here then? I don't want to use a screwdriver for this shit. I want to try and keep it metal because you know a screwdriver would just pop this off. Come on, bruh. It's an airbag thing though. So you know, just fucking shove something in there, and make it pop off, and blow, blow, blow my head off or something. Come on, bruh. Oh, there we go. Starting. He's giving that back that riff. I don't know if this is clever. What I'm doing here? Should I try and look behind? Uh, I've got a fucking. I don't got a clue what I'm doing here, superstars. Not that's a bloody clue. Maybe something to do with this airbag, yeah. Nerves are slightly kicking in. Give me a sec, I just want to try and see. I can't do it with this. I'm trying to maybe put it on the tripod. Give me a sec. Time to consult the Haynes manual for this A-pill, I think, because I just... Yeah, I'm not going to rip this thing off. Just give me a sec. Let me read through this, Superstars. Well, I found a bit about the pillar, but the funniest bit is, yeah, the old warning. Puddles covered by the SRS, yeah, the airbag system. Disable that. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't disabled that. It's probably going to hurt if it goes over my face. Okay, yeah, see who starts. I've disconnected the battery, because I don't want to pull this A-pillar off, and then the thing just blows up in my face. Like, explodes my face they tell you there's like a guard and how to disable it there's no point disabling it that way just take off the power that would give a juice to explode hopefully there's no residual power left in it and that's when somebody's gonna be screaming in the comments going dude this residual power will still go off oh god let's hope not um yeah we disconnected we got no juice we'll also see the like, lots of people say once you disconnect the battery when you start the car you sometimes get an engine warning light and stuff like that for uh, or, or, or sometimes it just doesn't sound right when it starts, it doesn't fire properly and all that kind of stuff. I've never had an engine warning light on mine. Mine's been sweet. So we'll, we'll, we'll see and I'll tell you guys how it goes. But yeah, let's pop this pillar off and see what it gives. Superstar, just bear with us with this sort of bullshit angle I've given you guys. But hopefully, because I just, I just can't hold it properly. It doesn't doesn't feel like that's going to come off. Feels like I'm going to break something. Yeah, that ain't right. Okay, so... I want these little bits here that will... You'd use to remove a, s a stereo system normally. But see, I don't want it to knacker it. Can't really see... I'm just struggling with the light here. It seems like it's like a clip of sorts, but... I can't really tell. Oh, there we go. Yeah, cool. It's like a little clip, so I sort of pressed in. Didn't feel like it was going to give, but it has. There we go. You can see that. See? So these little clips around it. So I've just sort of pried it open. Yeah, I would have broken it. I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, do not follow everyone else's advice. Can you see there's a screw in there? 
See there? There's an actual screw there. Do not just yank that, you'll break it. So glad I didn't use the power of grey skull on that. So, so glad. Okay, and obviously I wouldn't have a screwdriver, so yeah, let me go grab one of them. Yeah, so we've got the screwdriver. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, all that. Let's get a different head on that thing. Uh, hopefully that'll do. These the weary tools at the bottom. Sick tools. You gotta be. That's bullshit. What? Nah. I might need a bigger bit. I need like a really chunky bit. Don't think I have one that chunky. Oh gosh. I think I have to go to the garage. Yeah. Nah, it's too thick. Okay, superstars. Back again. Okay, back at it. Got some more bits. Let's see, I've got a large, well, the largest one I've got probably. Let's see if this will do. I don't think it's like too big or something. That fits like a glove now, but there might be some serious torque behind this because of the airbag or something, but it should be lefty loosey. Oh, that's it. That is that bullshit. That is that bullshit. Bullshit. That was way too tight, bruh. Bang. <laughs> Sucker. Okay, so we put this back in. Yeah, so superstars, do not pry this off and break it, okay? It'd be silly. Just don't just pull on it, bruh. Bruh. If I have broken this, I would have been pissed off. But you know what they say is worse than being pissed off? Being pissed on. <laughs> you know, bro. You know. You know. Okay, it's feeling a little bit tight. Tied like a tweaker. Hold on a sec here. Oh. Ooh. 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 Oh, you dirty. Mother. Yeah, you check this, this stuff here. Yeah. Okay, you see these bits here? This is... I think, okay, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, because I know everyone in, you know, everyone on the internet's an expert, right? Everyone's an expert on the internet. Okay, so, I re I, from what I know, is that when these cars come from Japan, they don't have any um, security stuff in them. So I think this is all done when they come off the ships in the UK. If my mate is correct, dude who told me, they fit all the alarms and stuff when they come off of the containers and that in the UK because they don't come shipped to Japan they don't come from Japan shipped with them could be wrong could have fed me that bullshit too, you know what I'm saying but never know, I lapped it up anyway love a good story okay this, I suppose this little pop see I don't with this liner I'm just going to feed the cable behind that, I'm not going to go I'm not going wild and start pulling the whole headliner down. Sorry if it's too noisy if I'm here. Okay, what do we got on there? Okay, so there's a couple of fuses, a couple of small ones. I suppose they just do this. That's because you could be anyone's car. Yeah, all, the, all cars, sorry, all cars are different. So this is going to be mine, I would assume. Um, he says, no, actually, maybe this smaller little one. Maybe it's this little one here. Yeah. But I'll check there in a sec. I'll pull out one of these. I'll pull out one of the current, um, one of the current fuses. And then, yeah, so what have we got in the box? Right, so we got this. Hey, up, superstar. What's these connections all about, then? What? 
ground, probably. The ground and then this probably goes to live, am I right? I don't like this, it's dirty. I'd probably... I could solder this. So what are we doing here? Yes, yeah, so I would say that. That into there. Yeah, you soldering this would be better. But the gauge of wires way different. Yeah, but anyway, so you plug that into there. Should be sweet. Some people whack some tape around that, but like I said, I would normally do that and put some shrink sleeve in there. I'm just trying to think if I should do that now or if I can do it later. I'm not going to do it when it's in there. Ah, God. I'm a bit stuck with time yet today, superstars. Okay, um. So that's going to run up. There's no double sided tape here or anything to stick this on with. So I'm just going to have to put it in there and fasten it, secure it somehow. Got more than enough cable here, I reckon, to get around. I reckon. Okay, so I have moved the camera. You can't see it, but here we go. So I've put the camera and it actually did go onto that perforated edge up there. It did, it stuck on. Can you see it up there? It did, it stuck to that perforation there. So I'm going to run that up the headliner. Maybe I can try and get you guys a bit of view. Give me a sec. Maybe that'll work. But you see, I don't like the way it's doing that. Oh, just F my life. Come on. Don't mess about. Oh, for Kiss my ass. Guys, we're running gangs, so that's how we do. Come on. Focus, bro. Focus. Let's just run this. Yeah, so guys, like I say, I've got tons of mods that I want to do to it. But I've bought a lot, I've got a lot of stuff already. And I was just laughing, having a little chuckle to myself because I haven't actually checked the boxes. <laughs> so I hope I've got the right stuff. I had a couple of things when I ordered ordered bits and they took a while because some of the parts are coming from different places and stuff. That's one thing you'll notice when you start modding them. Uh, that it's it's got to be one of the most expensive cars to mod, I would say, to get um, uh, brake horsepower, you know, uh, price per brake horsepower you get. I mean, most of these cars now, you can go 500 quid with these new cars, and you just, like, release 100 brakes straight away. Don't ask if it is for the engine, who cares, whatever. But I'm just saying, like, get 100 brake for one of these, you're talking thousands. Not 1,000, not 2,000, thousands, just for 100 brake. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be check it, sweet, easy, light work. Could I put some tabs? See, the thing is, um, I noticed like I quite like my music and stuff, right? So if when I upgrade the, I want to upgrade door speakers and do that kind of stuff. This is this stuff can become can become quite tricky. Like I need to probably go get some tape because I'm gonna want to tape my stuff to these cables here too, because this stuff will just rattle seriously and will just make such a noise. And trust me, you don't want to be, I don't want to be going back in you. So yeah, so... No, I reckon this is going to work. Definitely got enough length in it. Yeah, super. let me go get some, let me get some tape with some cable ties or something. Because I'm going to, yeah, I need to fasten this cable down. I don't want to do a half a job on this. That's the thing with these cars. You find a lot of people will like mod them and stuff and they do such a terrible job. You've got to do it really nice. You've got to, you can't, it's disservice to the car. To, to do like a crappy job on it to be honest that's why I really want to solder these these would, these would be okay but I just really want to solder them it just looks it's just much slicker with all the with all the um you know with the shrink sleeved and stuff it just lasts longer it's sturdier things like that really I mean it's not going to get much movement in it that's why I'm sort of contemplating not doing it to this but yeah give me a sec to think about it